Hey everyone and welcome to another Seesaw Shakeup, where we take some classic Seesaw activities and give them a modern makeover that'll save you time and spark student engagement. Today we're going to be shaking up this activity where students move off chalkboards and try to find matching letters behind into something like this, where students now have flex cards that they flip to try to find matches and then they can move them right next to each other. What we're going to do first in this activity is kind of get rid of some of the pieces that are already existing. So I'm going to get rid of most of these bumblebees. Uh, I'm going to keep just one and then I'm going to see what letters are hidden behind. I can take a screenshot of these specific uh, graphics if I want them to be exactly the same, but I'm going to get rid of them because I want to show you what possibilities are inside flex cards if you just put letters in. I do want to reuse this bumblebee because not only is it super cute, but it's super easy to use. I'm just going to screenshot that just like this and have that off to the side. So now we have a completely blank canvas. The first thing I'm going to do is go to the check and choose flex cards. And we're going to create flex cards from scratch. Now I want this to say sequential because I want it to flip between the two uh, different options we have here. The first thing I'm going to do is add in our picture of our screenshot of the bumblebee just like this. And on the second slide, I'm going to add in the letters. Now we had O, X, and A, so this one can be an O card. So now that we have one O finished, we're gonna copy and paste this to make a second O just like that. And then we're gonna continue to do this for the other letters. So the next step I want students to do is to match them vertically. So I'm gonna go in here, we're gonna add in a shape just like this, and I'm gonna create three different backgrounds for this. Let's move this one all the way to the back. Let's say that this one is going to be one group. So now that we have all of our pieces put into place, we're gonna make sure that the order is all correct by pushing these three shapes all the way to the back so that our flex cards are hanging on top. And we're just gonna realign these just a tiny little bit so they look beautiful. And then we are all finished. So students now, when they interact with this, they're gonna see something kind of like this, where they can flip through the flex cards and try to find matches. Now, what's beautiful about these flex cards is that they not only are able to flip through them and not have any pieces moving, but they can also exchange where they are. So you can see how they can go through and they can move these pieces, they can connect their understandings and showcase this to you in a fun and engaging way without pieces being lost anywhere on the canvas. I hope you enjoyed seeing how to shake up this activity. If you did, please like and subscribe. And if you want your activity shaken up, please drop a link to it in the comments and we'll do our best to get to it in the future. Thank you, thank you so much for watching.